Hello everybody, this is the Gabe Noel, and um, I just recently posted my video of the new format and some stupid stuff that I was talking about, and I was talking about a couple Xbox One things involving the Titanfall beta, and the stereo headset that uh, Microsoft is announcing in March at some point. And uh, I just now figured out that the Xbox One's February update, uh, I figured out it just now started rolling out, just um, actually probably about hours ago or something. So here it is exactly. Microsoft's first major Xbox One update is now rolling out to consoles worldwide. The update was supposed to be released earlier this week, but Microsoft pushed it back for unknown reasons. So that kind of that's the first thing that really catches my mind right there is pushed back for unknown reasons. So I I assume that the reasons were for some last minute testing of the of the update. Um, I'm honestly not sure since it since here it does say unknown reasons. Um, let's see what else this says. This is going to talk about the things that needs that it, the update is going to be fixing. So quote unquote, the February update provides a number of improvements, primarily focused on managing content and displaying the battery life of controllers on the home screen. The update will allow Xbox One owners to see what has been downloaded and installed and separates out the My Games and My Apps sections to make it easier to manage libraries of games and apps. It also adds an option to use a USB keyboard with the console, which is something else that's also nice. But the, the, the thing that catches my mind here is the, these things should have already been on the console when it came out. Like, I, I shouldn't have to, if I had bought an Xbox One, which I don't have an Xbox One because I couldn't afford it at the time and can't afford it now, but if I had an Xbox One, I, I would have expected it to have the things that the Xbox 360 had and more. Maybe not have full access to like Twitch TV and all of that, but I didn't expect that really. You honestly can't expect everything there. They have to bring in some updates, like PlayStation has to do PlayStation Now. And they also have things like Twitch and stuff and, you know, all, all those things. But things like displaying the battery life of the controllers on the home screen, those things were on the Xbox 360 for, like, such a long time. I don't know why they, I don't know why that wasn't on the console already when it came out. And it's not like Microsoft didn't have time to work on it. They had plenty of time to work on it. If they had time to work on the cable TV, they should have had time to work on something as minimal as displaying a controller's battery life. Because it did that with the 360, and it still does that. I mean, yes, it's kind of primitive, because it just has, like, the four bars for the battery life, but it still does it before the Xbox One does, which, I don't know. It, it It's weird. It, it and another thing that should have been there is that the my games and my apps could have been should have been separated already to make things easier to manage libraries and all of that. Um, the option to use a USB keyboard with the console. Okay, I can I can understand that a USB keyboard isn't something that everyone's gonna want to do exactly right then, but the freaking my games and my app sections. Another that's again I'm just trying to get the idea in your head. Um, the update will allow Xbox One owners to see what has been downloaded and installed. Again, something that the system should have already had at launch. I don't, I don't understand why those things could not have been on the launch. The USB keyboard, I understand. The rest makes no sense why they couldn't just push that into launch. It, it wouldn't have been hard. It kind of, it, it, it's annoying. There's some stuff here talking about who's going to get the updates. Quote unquote, it's rolling out immediately, but that doesn't mean every console will be available to install it straight away. Um, Microsoft notes that Xbox One owners who use the instant on feature or mode will receive the update automatically the next time the console is turned off. That's the vast majority of Xbox owners, and the update will install during off peak hours. Uh, well, I, I don't know what to say about that. It's honestly, that's that's one of the biggest. That's the one thing in here that's completely fine. I don't have any problems with that at all. Uh, another quote-unquote here. Microsoft is also planning to release another update in March designed to address Xbox Live and party chat issues. Today's February update comes just as Microsoft opens up its Xbox Live Gold service to gamers for free this weekend, alongside the Titanfall beta. February's update also includes some Xbox One controller fi fixes specifically for Titanfall. 
It's not clear if you can force consoles to update immediately, but the new features should hit all consoles at some point over the weekend either way. And the the fact that they're able to get the amount of con the amount they update to the amount of consoles that are you need the update is is it's nice that they can do that in just a weekend or so. Um, Xbox Live Gold service for free over the weekend. That's a nice feature to have. Granted, I don't have an Xbox One, so I don't need it, but I mean, it's a nice thing for them to do real quick. The Titanfall closed beta, if you signed up for it, then you get to be in it. I imagine it's really cool. I've seen gameplays of it on the Xbox One, and it looks pretty freaking awesome. Like, when it comes out on 360, I'm actually going to be, um, I'll try to get it over this summer. I can't actually get it at release. I'll have to get it like a few months after it comes out. So hopefully I won't be too far behind and stuff. So I should be earning money over the summer anyway. So I shouldn't be too far behind. Uh, let's see what else they were talking about. Controller fixes specifically for Titanfall. This is what I was talking about in my stupid stuff in new video format video right before this. Is that what they were trying to do? is um the developers of Titanfall I still can't remember what they're called it's not Sledgehammer Games it's um Rebellion Games I believe I think it's Rebellion Games anyway don't don't quote me on that though I'm not 100% sure but I'm going to say it right now Rebellion Games requested to Microsoft that they make a fix to the game of Titanfall involving the analog sticks in which the further you moved the analog stick in any direction the more sensitive it became so I don't know why exactly that wasn't a feature before. I mean, I guess it wasn't an issue at the beginning, but they found a reason to make it an issue. So, but I mean, it's a game developer and they want something specific to their game that's as minimal as fixing sensitivity with the distance of a freaking analog stick push. That that makes sense to me. That that should be allowable, which of course Microsoft allowed it. Um that's pretty much all there is to it, and besides the update that comes out in March to mess with the Xbox Live and Party Chat issues, I didn't know there were any issues to begin with, but no, Microsoft can often find a way to screw something up somewhere. They did the, they did it with Windows 8, and they've done it with Windows Vista, though I like Windows Vista because that's what my computer uses now, even though Windows Vista does kind of suck at times because it's not that fast. But, and then they messed up on, what was it? It was Windows, not 2000 now. What is it? Uh, I can't, I'm not going to mention it. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave now. Anyway, you should make sure to rate, you should comment, and you should definitely subscribe. Something I want to ask any of my viewers is uh, recommend me to any of your friends who would like to do, like to just see any dumb videos of mine because, you know, I could always use the extra publicity. I've started uh, allowing my videos to be uploaded via Google+, Plus, Twitter, and Facebook. And now I think I'm going to start putting my um, Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, I'm going to start putting my Twitter handle in the, um, in the uh, description box below the video. So, all right, make sure to rate, comment, and definitely subscribe and recommend me to any of your friends or buddies or allies or Axis or control territories, whatever. So, uh, yeah, see ya.